all right everybody welcome to another episode of unique adventures we're going to be doing a comparison video of our solar stove bonfire versus a kuzum solar stove replica and a cool way that you can actually use this to keep your fuel cost down so stay tuned all right so as you can see here we have got this little kuzum it compacts down um, makes it really nice for travel and uh, you know it's a great solar stove alternative and so we're gonna be putting it right next to our solar stove bonfire now mind you not apples to oranges it's a little bit bigger but there is a way that we're going to be doing the fueling on this thing that might make it a lot more efficient. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we got both these so started. Now we are going to wait for these guys to get up to uh, to fire capacity here, and then we will uh, we'll show you how these guys operate. So now we're gonna see what uh, the equalizer is with the smaller unit. We watched a video back uh, a little while ago and it's gonna completely change the game for using these types of solo stoves. We uh, found a video, you can actually take your stove, solo stove or not, we're not running this in our current solo stove, but my cousin is running it in his Kazoom. Uh, you get a very thin mesh you know piece to put in the bottom of it, steel mesh and you can actually run clean high efficiency burning pellets in your solo stove to create you know that smokeless environment now the benefit of this is a 40 pound bag of pellets costs you less than ten dollars you're going to a campground and you're buying a bundle of wood it's costing you five to ten dollars per and when we were at potholes a couple weekends ago for three days, we probably estimated, now we brought some wood with us, but we probably burnt over $100 worth of wood because we had fires going all the time. So even if you bought a couple of bags and that's what changes the game here is, is that you can bring you know, clean high efficiency burning pellets. You can just put in a little bit every once in a while and that changes the game keeps your your cost down and also creates a very clean burning you know type of wood on top of um, you know you can really control the fuel rate as well and you're gonna see here real quick what the pellets look like in the stove versus the solo stove that doesn't have the pellets in it it's night and day difference um, just a couple of pellets will completely change your fire so um, that's definitely a piece that we're looking at here, but we're gonna keep our eyes on uh, these, uh, these stoves. So we got a chance to take a look at these two um, amazing uh, stoves. Um, the final verdict is both these stoves actually work really, really well. Uh, the Kazoom um, packs down and is very portable and it kind of nests into itself and it is still a really really good piece of equipment right now on amazon it's about 139 dollars um they it's um it burns really well it's definitely not as smokeless as a traditional solo stove but with that nesting ability and the the fact that it's portable and that game changing piece of being able to burn pellets in your um, portable fire pits is a game changer wood can cost five to ten dollars a bundle and you can buy 40 pounds of pellets typically for under ten dollars 
which makes it a complete game changer when you're going off grid or even when you're at a campground and you you're, you're trying to watch your money with and still have that good campfire experience so um, definitely for that the solo stove traditional right now I think is running about two hundred and fifty nine dollars so hundred dollars less more portable but if I was gonna have a, a fire pit for at home the solo stove definitely over the Kazoom for sure it's got a nice cover that goes over the top of it it definitely gets the smokeless faster seems like it burns a little bit more efficiently um, but then you can still probably do a mesh piece for the inside of that and we're probably going to do that for ours to be able to tweak and adjust the the types of wood that we want to burn in it um, because the solo stove at least the bonfire it comes in a very big box and it takes up a pretty big footprint if you're traveling with it so that makes it a little bit of a con but this kazoom packed down portable unit it's pretty good so uh, um, make sure if you haven't yet we've got affiliate links for all the materials that we use during this review um, definitely helps support the channel we get a couple bucks back or a couple of dimes whatever I don't even know what we get we get something back if you uh, you know use those links we're gonna put that money right back into the channel so that's always much appreciated make sure you hit that like button make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when we take two types of solo camping stoves and we give you that side-by-side -side comparison you won't miss it but until then we'll see you guys in the next adventure